Same right fashion academy youtube channel for another interesting tutorial so in this class i'll be showing you how to make um, this beautiful kimono fitted gown so many at times we make our kimonos uh, shift gowns but this time around i'll be showing you how to go about this beautiful uh, fitted gown so the kimono gown we have right here is actually fitted it's actually fitted from the bust to the waist to the hip and then it has a little extension on the floor line so here i've made my pattern drafting and this is the shoulder line you need your chest line you need your waist line you need your hip line and finally the floor length so you'll be determining the length of your uh, gown the way you want it so our concentration right now is on what happens on the kimono, okay, as well as the neckline. So to start off this tutorial, I've already uh, imputed my armhole, slanted my shoulder line and all that. So from here, which is the shoulder, I'll be measuring from my shoulder where I want my sleeve to be. So it depends on where you want it to be. If you want it to be at the bicep, you can leave it at 7 inches, you can leave it at 8 inches. But if, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm working on a small scale drafting. So I'll just be marking my, from here to here, 8 inches, okay? 8 inches will actually work perfectly well for this kimono. Then from this chest line, I'll just come down by 1 inch, okay? So I'll come down by one inch and I'm going to make a straight line. I'll just use the third line to indicate that. And I'll just keep my ruler straight. So at this point, I'll keep my ruler straight. And from this line, I'll go in by one inch. So at one inch, I'm going to slant this line. Okay. So, but before uh, doing this, note that we are going to this neckline we are going to slant it a little bit so i'm slanting it a little bit at one inch okay i'll do one inch on this line and this shoulder drop from the neckline my neckline this is my neckline i didn't put the uh, the depth but i have the neckline width right here okay so if you're working by with your natural neckline three by three 3 by uh, 0.5 as you wish I don't I didn't bother to put the neckline okay because this neckline I will show you how to go about it so from here I just land my kimono and from here I came down by one inch for my kimono so to complete this kimono I'm going to place my pattern ruler this way to match up with the bodies to the uh, to the sleeve itself to form the kimono and I came in from here by one inch okay so that's how to make a kimono sleeves all right so now we are done with the slanting and the next thing we want to talk about is the neckline so if you notice from the shoulder you can see that the neckline extended from the shoulder line at about one inch it all depends on you if you look at that dress very well you can see we have a little extension of one inch so this little extension of one inch right now that's where we are going to connect the shoulder so the shoulder we have right here is actually a straight sorry the neckline we have right here is actually a straight neckline so you can see how I'm placing my ruler here and I'm going to do this I'm going to do this just keep it straight and mark out my straight line so that is how to go about this shoulder so here you'll be placing your notch when you are joining these two bodies the back and front together your joining will start from here and end here then continue from here into the neckline for back and front body so this neckline is actually on the neckline okay if you look at it there's no curve there's nothing you know attached to it and all that so that's how to go about this beautiful neckline so the uh, the line i have here is center front 
and it's also served as center back so you can either use it for center front and center back as well so this particular pattern will be used to cut center front and center back but since we have this as fitted this particular dress is fitted where do we place our zip that is the next question where do we place our zip so the zip is going to be sewn from this point it's going to be an invisible zipper uh, about to the hip line okay so you can just come in from where the kimono um, curve started into the hip line so i'm working with a small scale so it's actually looking small right here but this is where you'll be having the zip so after joining every front and back front and back is going to be on fold unless you want to make a zipper for it at the back but i don't think it's going it's actually going to but you can just give it a try but if i'm working on this i'll just put a long zipper from the uh, very close to the waistline or just very close to the bust line to enable the the dress you know uh, to be free when you are removing it and wearing it so it's actually going to be a neatly finished invisible zipper so now if you want to make an extension because i'm seeing a little mermaid train um you know how to go about your mermaid train uh, just a little train or a little extension so if you want it that way that means if you come to the hem you'll be making an extension or say two and a half so this 2.5 extension i made here times four will give you 10 inches extension and it's actually very much enough so you can go this way that is if you want to make that extension or if you don't want you can you know leave it straight and you can put a slit at the back but what i'm seeing there there is a train at the back you know how to work on your mermaid gown the down part of it but if you don't know how to do that you can also uh, check our videos on mermaid gown on this channel so here this is fitted and that is why i'm cutting my kimono fitted so i'll just cut right there so if you are working on this dress please use your actual uh, measurements for a perfect fit so i'll just go into the shoulder drop once i get here where i have my arrow i'll just go straight so like I said, that is the pattern of neckline we have for this dress. So by the time you sew this, you actually see how this dress is going to lap on your neckline without a neckline. Just give it a try and let us know the result on the comment section. So this is the pattern we need. And this pattern, like I said before, is serving as back and it's serving as front so once you place your fabric right now you'll be placing your fabric on fold to cut the front you'll be placing your fabric on fold to cut the back so what i mean by placing on fold is if i have a fabric now i want to use to cut this kimono dress i'll just go ahead and do this I'll just keep my fabric on fold okay so I've kept it on fold now so I'll place it this way place my pattern on top of it like this and I'll just add my necessary seam allowances so my seam allowances right now is going to be I'm going to add 0 0.5 inch on the neckline once I get here I'm going to make a notch so when I'm joining this dress, when I'm joining this dress, I'm going to stitch the back and front from here. After that, I'll start stitching this way into the extension, as you can see, okay? So that is all about this dress, and I believe this illustration was helpful to you. So if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe. Turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends. Drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well please try and give this beautiful kimono a try and you might decide to cut 
on this and join back okay that is very very necessary because for what we have right there you need to cut and join if you want it exactly that way it fits on the thumb nail but if you don't want it's all your choice you can go ahead and do as you want and again in this um, extension we can also decide to step down a little bit i don't want to go into the down part of this dress because it, you have a lot of styles to make for it so you can go ahead and come over maybe come down by five inches and then make your extension so you still have it as fitted as it is right there so if i do this now that means i'll just go ahead and do this can you see that so you still have that fit okay what i just do, did here is for you to still have that fit you need on the hip line as it is right there on the thumbnail maybe somewhere around the knee line or above the knee line you can cover this extension so thank you very much for coming to this tutorial and if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day like this video share to family and friends drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well so thank you for coming and see you in the next class bye